I've been given a WordFast TXML file to translate, along with a translation memory from WordFast. Before I get started with the translation, I need to import my WordFast TM into MemoQ. I'll show you the best way to do that under MemoQ 6.2 or later. First, let's have a look at the TM file. Okay, this file consists of just a few records, and the first line is a problem. This will cause difficulties with the method that I'm going to show you. So what we want is a file in which this first line has been deleted. And I have such a file. It's this copy here. So this is the one that we're going to work on. In MemoQ, we'll click Import with Options, and then we'll select our copy of the WordFast TM in which the first line has been deleted, and we'll click Open. We need to change the default setting for the import filter from plain text to the multilingual delimited text filter. And then click Change Filter and Configuration so we can indicate which columns have the information that we want. Don't worry about the dialog. Okay, here I see that column E has German and column G has English. English is the source language in this project and I'm going to select simple bilingual configuration. Down below in the field by source I'll enter a G to indicate which column has the source text and under translation I'll enter E. Now I'll simply click OK. Click OK again to import the file. And let's have a look at it. Here we see the content of the WordFast TM. Now at this location I see where there was a tag in WordFast. WordFast tags generally have the format of an ampersand, a T, some letter, and a semicolon. Now I only have one here, but if this were a large TM there would be a lot of those tags potentially, and this might cause problems with my matching. So what I want to do is I want to convert this bit of text into a tag so that when I write it to my TM it'll be properly tagged content. The way that I do that is to use the regex tagger. So I go to the format menu, select run regex tagger, and for our regular expression we're going to type ampersand t and then what follows can differ. It might be an A, it might be a B, or a C. So let's have a look here and see what our possibilities are. We can go with any character. That would be a period. Here it was inserted when I selected it from the list. So now I'll type the semicolon. Click Add. And you'll see down below that the code for the tag in WordFast has now been changed to a tag. So let's click OK. And here we see that that is now turned into a proper tag. To write the content of the TM to our TM now, we go up to the Operations menu, select Confirm and Update Rows, and here I want to make sure that Edited is selected because that's the status of all of the rows that I imported. And we'll click OK to import to the TM. And our report here notes that six rows were stored in the TM. We only have six rows, so everything worked. And now I'm ready to proceed with my translation.